Okay, it's cold out here. But this is homeless guy. First chance at a fire tonight. First try. <coughs> I'm getting really congested. I think stuff are building building up in my lungs. I uh, think I'm getting pneumonia, actually. But uh, I put a little paper under this. And, uh, I got this dry wood from the plant, and I didn't want to try it more than once, and I didn't have to. I have a little fire going right now. All that dry particle board is going up, and, uh, makes me really happy. It's not really hot yet, and it's not really big, but, uh, it's going, and that makes me happy. It's Saturday night. Uh, the problem with Saturday night is that my little lady friend at the bank is having a gaming weekend, whatever that is, and I don't get to participate. I don't get to go for walks. I don't get to hold her hand. I don't get to text her. I don't get to talk to her. And all of this really sucks because the holiday weekends, for me, they're killers, man. They're killers. They would kill me if it wasn't for her. And so since she's not there or here for me, I uh, am really depressed because that's homeless guy. Always depressed. Hate life. Looks like I got looks like I got blowing this fire a little bit. Hold on. Hopefully that's enough. I don't have too much breath left. Moving my chair closer. That stuff's really dry because I got it from the plant, but it sat out overnight and it rained a little bit. And that particle board actually absorbed moisture. It's a, uh, it's terrible if it gets wet. I don't know how they build furniture out of it. If you spill something on it, it's toast. But that's what they do. And uh, <clears throat> right now I'm trying to make a fire out of it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about my cough. I told you I'm getting an accumulation in my lungs of uh, phlegm, and uh, it really sucks. I can't breathe at night. I'm coughing all the time. Uh, it's a thing about being homeless, living in your van, is you get uh, uh, humidity inside your van. If it's below freezing, then you, you get freezing on the inside of your vehicle on the windows if it doesn't freeze inside the vehicle it accumulates in your lungs and uh, it's a catch-22 it's a situation where you're going to die regardless you're going to freeze to death or you're going to die of pneumonia I've been out here for a little bit more than two months and uh, I can feel the effects of it I'm not doing as bad as some guys that live in a trailer park but actually I uh, am doing worse this sucks there's no way of getting around it the best thing you can say about this is this sucks and I have beautiful scenery around me. But, you know, if you're walking around out looking at the beautiful scenery, in the fucking cold, oh, pardon my language, it's still fucking cold. If you can see your breath, then you're breathing in moisture. And it's plugging up your lungs.
you can't cough enough to get the shit out of your lungs to keep you healthy. And that is going to give you pneumonia. And that's where I'm at. I'm at I've been out here for two months. Uh, my lungs are plugged up. And uh, I'm not doing very well. <clears throat> Other than that, I'm healthy. 33 degrees feels like a summer day. 45 degrees feels like a summer day. But it's not. It's still collecting stuff in your lungs. And it's still hurting you. You might walk around in a t-shirt like I do, on a 45 degree day, but uh, just because you're acc acclimated does not mean that your lungs are any more healthy. It still sucks. Hold on, I got blowing this fire again. I just started it, and uh, I was kind of lazy about it. I put some paper under it and some styrofoam on top from a box that I ate chicken out of or something, and I started it because I was lazy, and uh, it's cold. I didn't feel like putting a bunch of time into it. I split a little bit of kindling, and I put some of that uh, particle board sticker on that, thinking it was going to be... Uh, perfect and well it's taking a long time to get going that is not an instant fire by any means but it's a fire and I can feel some heat coming out of it but that thing got to get going because I'm cold so once in a while I got to blow on it because that thing got to get going or I'm going to be cold I'm just going to give up on it and get in the van turn the heater on, and get warm. But I don't want to do that. It's Saturday night. And I don't want to waste gas. It cost me uh, 43 bucks to fill it up today. And I don't want to waste gas. I'm trying to make a living here. I'm trying to make this... I'm trying to make this work. I'm not going to cuss anymore. But the reason I'm out here is to save money. And having to put money in that thing and having to buy food, having to wash my clothes, all of this takes money out of my residual trying to get everything shit straight. I want to, I want to rent a place. I want an inside house. Is there such a thing? Can is it too much to ask for a homeless guy to want to go inside? I don't care how big it is, but I do care how much it costs. And I'm doing the best I can. I can't even start looking for three more weeks. So, needless to say, guess what? I'm hating life. I started drinking myself to death when I was 21 because my parents died when I was 8. And uh, I'm getting close to that today. All I need to make my life better is a girlfriend and inside place to stay. Honest to God, that would make my life. And I'm getting close to the girlfriend... And I'm getting close to the place to stay. But another freeze, another 4 degrees or 12 degrees below freezing is going to, below zero is going to kill me. And there's nothing I can do about that. It's starting to get cold. It's supposed to be freezing snow tonight. I am uh, at my wit's end. And this fire is not helping because this is a little 
tiny, itty-bitty fire, and I need to make it better. Let me see what I can do. Can you hold on? Readjusting everything takes time. There's some beer cans from the Hicks that were down here the other day. And now I gotta get in the smoke. I don't like getting in the smoke because then I smell like a homeless person. But, uh, you gotta adjust your fire when you got it. So, right now all I'm doing is uh, readjusting all the firewood and hoping that uh, that's going to catch. I think it will. Now I'm going back to my chair. It's really fucking cold out here tonight. Well, you know, I've been in worse. But it's probably 35 degrees out here now. And, uh, you know, while you're sitting at home in a 67 degree temperature because you're trying to keep your thermostat down, I really feel sorry for you. But it's about 35 out here right now. I want you all to tuck in and keep warm as you're watching this. But make no mistake about it. This is fucking cold. Not just cold, but fucking cold. Oh, pardon my language. Can we say that on uh, camera? I mean, frigging cold. How about that? On, like, on a uh, gold rush. They can't say fucking. They gotta say friggin'. So, frigging cold. And, uh, it's gonna be like this all night. Actually, it's going to be worse than this. It's going to get down to 32, 31, 28. I don't know, but it's going to be frigging cold. Right now, look at that fire is going a little better now because I readjusted everything. But, uh, it's not a great night. A great night would be if it was everything was all the same except for me. And Joyce were talking, that would be good. That would make everything better. But she's on a gaming weekend. What I don't know what that is. It must have been something pre-planned. But there's no cell phones. There's no TV. There's nothing. And what I think that is, is uh, she just doesn't want to talk to me. And that's her excuse. I'm always worried that uh, she's too good for me. And... Uh, so, I'm always thinking that's what it is. I think she just didn't want to talk to me. And so she made up an excuse that she can't talk to me because there's no cell phone, there's no TV, there's, it's just a gaming weekend, whatever the hell that is. And who the hell are you gaming with? <clears throat> I wasn't invited. And so it bugs me. She's the best person in the world. I know for a fact she wouldn't lie to me or for nothing. And uh, yet, what's a gaming weekend? I don't know. So that bugs me. I'm a little worried that she just doesn't want to talk to me. And I won't know anything until after the weekend until she talks to me. It's uh, December 21st. It's right in the middle of the holiday season. Everything sucks for me. Because I hate the holidays. Because I don't have a family to go to. And, uh... Well, it's not helping that we're not close enough. Me and Joyce, my new girlfriend... 
to actually be doing stuff together on the holidays. And, uh, so I'm all alone. If I had a gun, if I had a gun, if I had a gun, you wouldn't even be talking to me right now. You wouldn't even be talking to me right now. I would have already joined my parents in heaven and waited for a new life. But I made that choice not to have a gun because God, I would have been dead 30 years ago. I would have been dead 30 years ago. I had a gun for a while. A little birth of 22. That I had a friend work over and clean and I took it apart and cleaned it and it, it worked perfectly, man. It's, what was it? 11 shots. As quick as you could pull the trigger. But it was only 22. And I had thoughts of wiring the hammer back so that I could get more than one bullet in my head. So, so that I would, you know, so I could get more than one bullet in my head. Cause it would go bang, bang, bang. Maybe three shots in my head before I could drop it. And, uh, maybe I could kill myself with a 22. But actually, when it comes down to it, um, Killing yourself with a twenty two is gonna just hurt you hard and you're gonna live through it and then you're gonna be dumbfounded the rest of your life. So <clears throat> anyways, I had that option, but I give my brother gave that gun to me and once I got it working properly I uh, gave it back to him because I am not responsible enough to own a gun. I would kill myself in a heartbeat. Because I hate my life. In a heartbeat. Do you get that? Homeless guy here. In a heartbeat. I hate my life. And I would not be here talking to you right now. If I still had the gun that I had less than a year ago. I'm lucky that I was in a good spot. During the couple of months that I had that gun. And during the time I give it back to him. It was a beautiful gun. Neat little handgun. But since then. I am so lucky. That I don't have that gun. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Guns don't kill people. People kill themselves because life sucks. NRA, all the way, baby. There's nothing wrong with a gun. I had a gun when I was four years old. I had guns all my life. But when I became unstable, I was smart enough to know to get rid of my guns. I had a 284 semi-automatic Winchester 100. I could shoot myself in the head five times before I was dead. I got rid of it. I had a little uh, 22 from uh, oh, crap uh, Montgomery Wards called uh, Western, and uh, got rid of that. Built a brand new stock fort and everything when I was a kid. I had a 270 that was in the accident with me and my parents. I had a bent barrel. Let that go. Um, I had it. Ithaca, 20 gauge shotgun, full choke, 36 inch barrel. I could not live with that because I would shoot myself in the head with it. I let that go. I've had guns, okay? But I'm smart and. I don't want to blow my brains out because I wouldn't be smart after that, right? So I'm uh, smart enough to get rid of my guns. I've got nothing against guns at all. But uh, 
I know for a fact, 100%, that I would not be here right now if I owned a gun. So, that's why I don't own a gun. Homeless guy here. Wouldn't be here if I had a gun. Fire's going good. Um... I'm sorry about all the rhetoric that I just laid on you, but that's part of this whole homeless guy thing, and uh, I just want to let you know where I was. I'm still alive. I kind of hate my life, but it's a life. I'm like two weeks away from actually getting a place, and I think I have a girlfriend. <coughs> But I'm not really sure, because she's kind of fickle, and she's very uh, old-fashioned, is that what you call it? She's very uh, slow. She said, I would not have a problem moving in place with you, Jim, but if I want to build a relationship with you, I can't live with you. So that's a good thing, right? Right? Because she wants to build a re relationship with me. So that's cool. I mean, that that's exactly where I want to be. Except for the fact that I want cuddles, too, along the way. And I'm not getting that. So I don't know what to think. Oh, oh, and she says, I might even move, move back to Minnesota. I don't know where my head's at right now. I don't know what I'm doing, but don't get too attached to me because maybe I'm going to move back to Minnesota. Well, that sucks. So what's that supposed to mean? I'm supposed to get her to love me enough until she wants to stay? That's selfish. That's selfish like a motherfucker. I just want her to love me. I don't want to make her love me and so she didn't move. I don't want to have that option in her head, but it is, and so I don't know what to do about that. <clears throat> All I know is that every time we get a date, a little progress is made, and I actually got a hug last time. So next time, I think I'll get a hug. I don't expect much more than that. Everybody tells me it's normal for a woman to be only one to see in, seen in public places with guys because they're scared and uh, it's normal. Well, I don't know because I don't date. I haven't dated ever in probably 30 years. So I don't know what to do or what to expect, but people tell me, no, that's normal. So she thinks. She's a little bit abnormal because she's been married for 25 years and and, and uh, divorced for eight months. So she doesn't know what normal is either, but she's acting perfectly normal. And uh, that's the part that I have to get in my head, that this is all fine. I can't rush it. I want to. But for a good relationship to happen... I should not rush it, because what I want is a good relationship. I don't want sex and then nothing. I'd rather have nothing and then sex, which would actually be love, and then forever. That's what I want, forever. Thank you for watching my fire with me and listening to my uh, rhetoric. <clears throat> what I think I should do now is probably transfer this uh, recording to the memory card and uh, I'll get back to you. This is Homeless Guy living in a minivan. It's a tough life, man.
I'm going to throw a little bit more wood on the fire. This is going pretty good. It's self-sustaining, meaning that it's hot enough it'll burn anything. And uh, I don't have to baby it no more. But uh, I'm going to bonfire this bitch. And uh, transfer this uh, recording to my memory card, and then I'll get back to you. Hey, you all tuck in tonight, okay? It's going to be cold. Hold your loved ones. Cuddle your honeys. Big spoon, little spoon. You know what I mean. Um, keep warm. Because it's getting cold. This is Homeless Guy. By the fire. Hoping he has a girlfriend. I'll get back to you.